what's up you guys it's simon welcome back to my channel so before we get into today's video i just want to mention that today's video is severely last minute very unplanned and very unscripted so i don't know um where this video is gonna go how chaotic things are going to get but bear with me i at least have a vague idea of what i will be talking about um so today's video, the reason that it is so unplanned is because I had initially intended for it to be um, an animal crossing, animal crossing, wow, animal crossing fall lookbook um, with like some of my favorite outfits from the game um, and then like I wanted it to be accompanied by like some gameplay footage of me trying out some new stuff from the update um, in the outfits obviously like the cooking um, and the roost and I also wanted to do farming but I didn't end up doing farming because I spent so much time doing other stuff on the island because everything on my island was so ugly. <laughs> like I I picked up Animal Crossing for maybe the first two months and then I just let it sit there. Um, I, I am not very good at like doing things like terraforming and anything like that. Um, so obviously making like a really cute, very pretty aesthetic island was out of the question for me. It was very difficult um, for me to do, uh, but the new update obviously <laughs> inspired me and many others to pick up the game again. So yeah, um, I wanted to do something like that, but I had spent so much time renovating my kitchen so that it would look good enough to do the gameplay parts in because my kitchen was not a kitchen. Everything was just thrown on the floor, um, like it wasn't organized or anything like that. Um, I literally, the floor and the walls were both blue and green wood. Like they were ugly. It was just random stuff that I was like, oh, this might look cute in here. And then I threw it in there and never finished. Um, so yeah, I finally finished my kitchen, especially now that we have Cyrus and we can customize items. Um, I finally got everything together in the right colors, looking nice and cohesive. Um, that being said, I did spend so much time on that kitchen that I, I, I didn't, um, <laughs> I did not end up being able to edit or do that video yet. So that is probably going to be, um, next week. I am very excited about it still. Hopefully you guys are excited about it. I don't know if the hype for New Horizons is dying down. I personally am still, um, very hype about the new update because I, I don't get that much time to play. I'm always doing, you know, videos and stuff like that. So I don't get a bunch of time. All the time that I spent playing was on like my quote unquote weekend, or I use it as an excuse to be like, well, I am doing this video. So I do technically have to do this, but also I shouldn't, I have to work. So yeah, I have not gotten that much time to play New Horizons, but I got just enough time in to be able to do that video. So I will be, it'll be, it's coming soon. Hopefully you guys will like it. Hopefully people still care about Animal Crossing by the time it goes up. Anyways, that being said, getting into today's video. So today's video is about Huevember. Um, I just kind of like threw together one of the days. I kind of had a feeling that the Animal Crossing video was gonna be so long that I needed to maybe record one of these days so that I would be able to have a video for this week. Um, I believe this was day eight of Huevember. Oh, it, maybe day seven. Day eight or day seven, one of those. I'm not 100% sure. I think it was day seven. Um, and I, it was like this dark orange color. It was very nice. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know about Huevember because I've surprisingly gotten, surprisingly gotten, goodness, <laughs> a lot of comments on my Instagram like, oh, I, I didn't know Huevember was a thing, blah, blah, blah. I did not create Huevember. I have just been doing it for the first time. I've seen it for years um, and I've only now gotten the chance to get into actually joining in myself. But anyway, if you don't know what Huevember is, essentially it is kind of like the polar opposite of Inktober. Um, there are 30 days and each of those 30 days is dedicated to a very specific hue. Um, and essentially you're meant to take that hue and use just that um, and variations of it obviously black and white kind of monochrome sort of paintings um that being said i have been kind of pushing i think the limits on that um when i first started with huevember the very first day 
I just used the main hue and then, you know, like variations of it because I was like, well, I have to use just this color. It's hue vember. You use the hue of the of the vember. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I just used that one hue because that's kind of what the the gist of the challenge is. That being said, um, after <laughs> literally day two, I, I had used again mainly um, that main color, but I was like, it's begging for something. It's giving, it's giving nothing. I need to kind of like spruce it up a little bit. Um, and it was kind of green. So I was like, well, maybe if I do like a color scheme, like it's like we're misanalogous right now. Like let's, let's get some color in there. I threw some blue and I was like, yes, yes, this is so pretty. I like this. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of have strayed away from using um, the main hue since day two. Um, for the, I think the, a couple of days, I was still trying to mostly adhere to that main hue with little pops of color. Um, but now I've completely changed it. Um, I think starting with this day, actually day seven, where I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm just going to use the main hue as kind of like an accent and build the other colors around it rather than building the other colors from it because I was having to overthink every single aspect of the illustrations. Like with day one, I was like, well, the hue is kind of yellow. Um, what's yellow? Lemons. Sour. We're, we're doing bitter, you know, stuff like that. So uh, I was, I was you know, deriving everything from the colors that I use down to the subject matter from the hue for the day, which in some aspects is totally fine. Um, but when you do that every day, it gets exhausting. <laughs> like I was like only using this one color, having to overthink, making sure I had like the right contrast, making sure the subject matter, you know, aligned with the color, making sure that it was interesting. And it was just driving me insane. <laughs> I was like, I hate this. Um, I don't want to do it anymore. But I was determined to get through this challenge. I still am because as I'm recording this, it's only day 11. Um, but yeah, I was super determined to make sure that I get through every single day of this dang November because I am, for the most part, enjoying it. It is a really nice challenge. Um, it's really pushing me out of my comfort zone to use a lot of colors that I wouldn't normally use. Um, I've mentioned before on this channel that I tend to use either just very muted earthy tones or bright pastel like it really cutesy kind of candy colors these are like straight up neon like very bright very vibrant colors that i would never even think to use in my illustrations unless i'm like intentionally going for like i'm just gonna use saturated colors for this i'm gonna go crazy with it you know but like if i were to just you know sit down and be like i'm gonna paint today i wouldn't choose magenta I wouldn't do that, um, but that is what this challenge is forcing me to do, and it has been really interesting um, as far as, you know, seeing how I interpret those colors, how I change those colors, um, you know, how I how I work with them is really interesting. It's also teaching me a lot about color theory. Um, I don't know if you've necessarily seen me do it um, in this speed paint just yet, but I started out painting her hair brown because uh, at this point in the speed paint, I was still focused on adhering only to that. Uh, only to the orange and obviously brown is a derivative of orange um, but yeah I was still um, you know only adhering to that tone um, and then I I like was messing with the background I think or no I wasn't messing with the background yet I changed her hair because I was painting it brown and then I was like no this needs a little something I spiced it up and I messed with the hue slider a little bit and I found this like navy blue color and I was like wow that is gorgeous and then I started turning the background on and off and I was like whoa <laughs> because the background very bright vibrant orange right turn the background off and the hair goes from navy blue to like almost black like dark gray like no color to it almost at all but with the background on it's incredibly blue, so it's crazy, <laughs> like, seeing the types of colors that I use, how those colors change based on what's around them, I'm, like, actually learning color theory, whereas before I was just like, yes, if you shade orange with yellow, or yellow with orange, it looks good than if you were to change, or change, if you were to shade orange with brown. <laughs> so that was my uh, extent of color theory, but now I'm like, oh, if you put like 
a desaturated color next to a saturated color. It's gonna look more saturated if you put um, a like really bright color next to a really dark color. It's gonna look like way brighter than it actually is like for example um i think i'm gonna i have two examples with this piece actually so the piece i did yesterday which would be day 10 um if you haven't seen it on my instagram you should go look at it because it's one of my favorites so far um it is a very vibrant super bright magenta <laughs> was the color so i had that as the background and then i was like for some reason i just i want to do like this dark skin girl with like this natural kind of hairstyle um with butterflies all around her pink blue and purple i was just i was getting that vibe and i was like yes this is what i'm gonna do so when i was doing her highlight on her skin especially next to that super vibrant background i was blown away because i i was using almost like a dark orange like it would have normally if i were to just put it against actually the background that you guys are seeing now that's almost the color of the highlight that i was using on her skin and when i placed it down it was practically white it was insane i was like wait this is like dark orange how is this happening it was so pretty i was obsessed with it i literally like turned off the highlight layer made another <laughs> layer and then filmed a tiktok of the process of it because it was just so pretty i was obsessed with it but also i was like confused because i was like her skin is glowing right now i'm not using a lighting layer it was like a normal layer with a dark orange and it was boom color and i was like wow that's magic i love that so yeah it's definitely been teaching me so much about color theory um and again it's just pushing me out of my comfort zone and like having me use colors that i normally wouldn't think twice about not using in an illustration so yeah um if you guys have been interested in any way um in huevember at all i would totally recommend just jumping in in the middle of the challenge it doesn't matter it's a color you don't even have to necessarily say you're doing huevember like just just pick one of the colors and try to work with it because it's super super interesting um don't do what i did though you don't have to do like monochrome because i swear it gets boring it gets so boring unless that's normally your thing if you love to like just pick a color do a monochrome color scheme you do you but it was exhausting for me i was thinking way too much um and now that i'm kind of just experimenting and letting myself use whatever colors i want so long as you know that main hue is kind of accented it's it's made the focus um i think it's really nice and it's really fun um this day in particular though the one that's i'm currently speed painting was <laughs> it was a nightmare everything about this was such a struggle because i her face the eye have you have you guys seen like kind of those drawings where it's like a three-quarter view but her eye is like hanging off the side of her face there's like white touching the edge that's what this was doing i don't I don't know what my brain was thinking, um, I think I was just having a bad art day. Like her shoulders are way too small, her eyes not even, and also wrong side of her face. I was just really struggling with that. Um, so I ended up painting over her eye at the very end because I was not pleased with it in any sort of way. I really didn't like it. Um, but yeah, overall I think I managed to pull it together in a way that I like vaguely like. I really like her hair. Um, her earrings I really like as well. I don't know if you guys can necessarily tell um, in this bead paint. You can kind of see it more so in the um, what is it like the carousel on Instagram the second slide where I zoom in on her earrings the kind of texture that I wanted them to be um, I wanted like those frosted like jelly looking earrings if you guys have ever seen those big like geometric um, little they're not like hoops they're like they're like droplets but there's like holes in them I don't know very very specific earrings that popped into my brain when I saw this orange um, and I think I wanted the texture to come across a little bit more frosted if you guys have ever seen like those frosted Starbucks cups it's that but an earring um, and orange and jelly <laughs> this is so specific I have no idea how to describe what I'm talking about I'm sure if I typed this into Google I would get utter nonsense but I hope you guys can kind of understand what I mean <laughs> when I'm talking about it. Um, but yeah, when I saw that orange, that's what I wanted her earrings to be. And I think it up close, it comes across, but from afar, not quite. Um, but yeah, like I said, overall, I still um, 
generally enjoy the piece. It was a struggle to get there, um, but I learned a lot during it, and it also um, helped me learn how I'm going to um, view the rest of this challenge. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and are enjoying Qvember so far. If you're not following me on Instagram and you have the ability to do so, you should absolutely do it because I am posting daily on there now. Um, I know I just went on a rant in, I think, my Q&A where I was like, posting daily on Instagram sucks. And it does. But also, I'm kind of having fun with it again <laughs> because I have a challenge. We'll see if I can keep this momentum up afterwards. Um, hopefully, I can because I, I have been really enjoying it. Um, I've been trying to be more active on there and talk to people a little bit more. And I think that's contributing to um, me enjoying Instagram. Once again, um, it's also contributing to Instagram boosting me in the algorithm again. Because if you didn't know, if you're inactive on Instagram, if you don't talk on there very often, um, both interacting with others accounts and interacting with people on your like comments uh they're gonna bury you <laughs> like you're you're gone as far as instagram is concerned um so yeah just interacting with people really helps and I, it's also really helped me um you know find some more artists that i like and one of my favorite artists oh my god this is embarrassing. Um, one of my favorite artists that does fan art for um, Geralt and Yaskier <laughs> from The Witcher, they draw them so cute. They saw one of my cute members and then followed me and I was screaming for like 10 minutes because I was like, you're the one that does this stuff with my boys. I'm crying, obsessed. My day was made. So yeah, um, <laughs> Instagram, me, I'm on there. It's fun. You should go check that out. Um, if you can't, let me know if you guys want to see, like, um, a Huevember video, because I know a lot of you guys don't have Instagram, so if you guys want to see, um, kind of, like, similar to what I did with Witchtober, um, but a little bit different, obviously, because there will be 30 illustrations, and that's a lot to get through, um, but if you guys just want to see me, you know, kind of talk a little bit about the challenge some more in depth, um, and my overall thoughts on it as I reach the end of it, let me know down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was very rambly and unscripted and all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons, Elise Thompson, Duran, Mandy, Schleeps, Kruhi, and Creative by Twins. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for continuing to support me every single month. Um, speaking of supporting me on months, um, I obviously, like I mentioned, have a Patreon. There's a ton of cool stuff on there, like digital downloads, um, coloring pages, uh, behind the scenes files. I don't know if you guys know this. I post PSDs like Photoshop files and um, line work and stuff of um, the rewards detailing to each tier. So if you're in the matcha mail tier, not only do you get the physical rewards, but you also get the files of your rewards. If you're in the strawberry tier, you get the line art, but you also get like the sketch and how I made it to the line art. You get um, if you're in the chai tier, you get the digital download and the sketch and everything for the digital download. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff on there that I'm really excited about. So if you guys want to support me or see more behind the scenes of my art, you can go check out my Patreon. It'll be linked down in the description alongside all, the, all my other social media. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.